Well, let me tell you something, brother. J&J Toy Giants is here to bring you another WWE Superstars Toy Unboxing. I am your host, JD, and I'm here with my brother, Hulk Hogan. I'm gonna be doing, again, the Series 7 Toy Unboxing of Hulk Hogan. You can see it in the back. Not other than does it come with Hulk Hogan on Series 7, brother, but it also comes with Rowdy, Rowdy Piper, the nemesis of Hulk Hogan back in the 80s, and it also comes with Vader and Captain Lou Albano, brother. So what you gonna do when Hulkamania and J, J Toy Giants comes after you, brother? So let's let them breathe. And what you gonna do when Hulkamania and the largest arms in the world run wild on you? Tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. right here in Toronto's Maple Leaf Gardens. Hey all you Hulkamaniacs and J&J &J Toy Giant fanatics. This is the man, the myth, the legend, the one and only Hulk Hogan, part of Series 7 of the Superstars line. Again, if you actually are just watching this for the very first time and not aware of this particular toy line, um, I had said that when I started uh, unboxing this series, before when it started, that this took place of the Masters of the WWE Universe which was basically WWE superstars and legends, Hall of Famers in Masters of the Universe type gear. As you can see, the actual um, way that these particular toys were sculpted are in the style of the Masters of the Universe toy line or AWA Renkos, whatever you want to call them. And I've actually been collecting them. So they started, there are some of the uh, other toys from this toy line that I have not gotten yet because of what we call in the toy uh, collecting, um, you know, the toy collecting niche uh, distribution problem. Basically, they have not been able to get to our store so we can buy them. And if you don't pre-order them, it's really, really hard to get them online. Uh, so yeah, so I've been trying to collect them as much as I can whenever they come to any of our stores. I believe these are Walmart exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, Hulk Hogan, this is the uh, likeness of Hulk Hogan when Hulkamania really started in the mid 80s. He's wearing his Hulkamania jumpsuit or warm up suit. Uh, Hulk, Hulk Hogan is uh, very well known as being a you know, weight enthusiast. Basically, he loves Hank clanging and banging in the gym. So he would always wear like a weight belt, although I'm not sure why this is yellow or white with the Hulkamania logo on it. Maybe this is basically just a thing that they cut for cost because sometimes when you're developing and molding a to toy you know, figure, sometimes they cut costs and they, they do stuff like this where they give you something, but it really is kind of like an eyesore because it's not yellow, it's not red, it's not white, it doesn't have any of his deco heads, which is like, when I say deco heads, like this like Hulkamania you know, logo you see here, that's a deco head. Um, although it does come with some soft goods of his workout suit, you can see the Hulkster on the background there on his headband so and that's actually pretty good for the small deco head they have here his uh the, the actual uh figure itself is super super tan but that's actually accurate because uh one of the other things that hulk hogan was known for is that he is a real big uh, advocate of oops, sorry about that with the camera he's a real big advocate of tanning he's always getting that brown skin tan uh, that he's known for. So that is actually very, very accurate. He also, it comes with a, uh, it's supposed to be gold, but I guess they have it brown again. Probably the color is probably, you know, cut costs on that. But he also is known for wearing a cross. So he's very religious so as far as like, you know, him being a Christian and whatnot. Um, but, I love this particular Hulk Hogan because this is the Hulk Hogan that I know. I really would love to see a Superstars line for a Hulk Hogan when he was like maybe around the time of when he was wrestling the Ultimate Warrior in um, WrestleMania 6 with some, maybe a bandana, a Hulk rules bandana and a yellow shirt. Um, but maybe, maybe later. I will be taking this off at some point because in... Uh, under his like little uh, jumpsuit here workout uh, uniform does show his like yellow tights and uh, he already has his uh, taped wrists 
the articulation, even if you have it in the soft notes, the articulation is pretty good. The elbows will move, goes up and down with the shoulder. His head moves pretty good. They're not, it's not really stiff. The waist is pretty good too, even with the weight belt on. You can move his ankles, you can move his legs, even at the knees. The knees is a little bit, you know, stiff, but that's pretty cool. That's not, not, not a big issue with me. Um, he does also come with some extra hands. So you can see them here. Already has out of the package two C-grip hands, but you can also do uh, like a, you know, hand open or closed fist if you wish to do so. If you wanna, you know, get him in the ring and start, you know, going running raw with Hulkamania against other action figures and, you know, get down and dirty. But overall, I really, really like this particular figure. Um, the Superstars line has always been a really, uh, you know, I guess a niche as far as like what I consider a pretty good uh, line because I love the Masters of the Universe. That's one of my favorite toy lines and I have a lot of them. So they basically are scale with the Masters of the Universe line or AWA Remco's, which now are, you know, at the time of this recording are now being re-released by Powerhouse or Powertown, sorry, Powertown. So Powertown are re-releasing the AWA Remco's. So there's currently, I believe yesterday, uh, April the 8th is was the last day you could pre-order for the AWA Remco's, but let's uh, let's get him out of his uh, jumpsuit and see what he looks like with uh, his wrestling attire. You gotta take a stand, it don't help to hide. All right, so you can see the Hulk Hogan Superstars Wave 7 without his uh, warm-up suit where it's all red. So this basically his uh, wrestling attire, yellow trunks, red boots, I'm sorry, red knee pads, yellow boots with the wrist tape. Uh, pretty jacked, as you can see. This Again, this is supposed to be like the Mass of the Universe type, you know, WWE legends, Hall of Famers, uh, superstars. That's why they call it the WWE Superstars line. But I really, really like this particular figure because it's exactly what you would want in a Hulk Hogan figure now. At the time of this recording, I also, I'm not sure if I mentioned in another video or in this video specifically that the last weekend was WrestleMania weekend, but they also had Squirrel Circle Expo on the Thursday before uh, from last week. So they actually unveiled some new WWE superstars that are coming out. So uh, um, Andre the Giant is gonna be one of those WWE superstars. So now you can recreate main event of WrestleMania 3 against Hulk Hogan and um, Andre the Giant and relive that, you know, that moment in time in figure history. So I can't wait to get that when it's uh, coming out to us in the stores. And again, I believe these are um, Walmart exclusives, so you can definitely find them at your Walmart. And then for the Target exclusives, I believe they have the rights to the WWE Legends line which are basically elites, but just legends or Hall of Famers specifically. Uh, yeah, so definitely gonna be adding this. This is definitely what we call a fronter. So fronter in uh, lingo for toy collecting is when you have a display, a fronter is gonna be right in front or a backer is gonna be in the back. So pretty much uh, self-explanatory right there. I already have a uh, Hollywood Hulk Hogan of this particular toy line already. It was actually the very first figure of this particular toy line of the WWE uh, superstars that I actually unboxed way back when. So definitely check that out. I'll leave uh, a link here. You can see it on the top here of you to be able to check out that specific video. But thank you so very much guys for being with us for another J&J &J Toy Giants toy unboxing. I am your host JD. Be sure to like and subscribe and also follow us on any and actually comment on any of our video submissions on YouTube, Patreon, X, Instagram, and Facebook, and also follow us on TikTok, and also follow us on Twitch. Thank you so very much, guys. Again, keep on cruising.